What's up guys, back with another product review. This is something that's been around for a little bit of a while now. Uh, it's something that has a lot of multiple uses, even though it seems like it might be kind of one dimensional. Uh, definitely you can take advantage of this product in the gym, but also if you're someone like me who's a home fitness enthusiast. So we're gonna be talking about Mark Bell's original slingshot. I'll talk about what the product is, how you can use it, or how you can take advantage of its multiple uses. I'll talk about how I've been using it so far, and I'll ultimately say if I think it's really worth picking up. And even though on this channel I talk primarily about signing bench trainers and training, a lot of you guys ask me questions consistently about some other chest options to really overload and stress the chest. And on top of that, I got a lot of questions about ways of kind of working around injuries, around shoulders and elbows. So I really thought this would be a, an ideal product to really talk about on this channel regardless. So I will link the product down below if you guys do wanna check it out and or support the channel. I'll put timestamps down below if you guys wanna jump to a certain section. If you guys do find this video at all helpful, please consider liking and or subscribing, especially if you want other kind of home fitness related tips. So we'll get into its multiple uses a bit later, but if this is your first time seeing the product, the product is a device that gives you some support that bottom position of the bench press or other related uh, kind of horizontal pushing related exercises that kind of creates this tight elastic kind of tightness that helps support essentially your chest, but also your shoulders, your triceps uh, and elbows as well. Uh, and also kind of helps put them in a more advantageous position that also relieves some stress that's kind of placed upon these joints. So this is not my first go around with this product. I originally picked this up, I'd say over seven years ago, uh, when I was at a gym, I was always big into like the power lifts. Uh, particularly, I was always good at benching. That was my strong suit. My biggest bench, I believe, was around like 335 to 350, somewhere between there. Um, was like my highest like one rep max in a bench. Uh, so I love bench pressing. I was at a gym, someone had the yellow one. I put that on, just loved the way it felt. Made the exercise session, that workout feel really good. Uh, immediately kind of went home and ordered my own. I was kind of torn at the time. And I had, um, the, again, a red one. At the, I bought a red one, even though I kind of actually did like that yellow one. We'll talk about the size a little bit later. It had the old logo. I kind of liked the old logo also as well. Just made bench pressing in those bench days a little more interesting. Added some versatility to kind of overloading the musculature and kind of took advantage of its primary use at the time, where it was kind of built for, which was in that kind of power lifting community essentially building up your bench. Like I said, even though it has a lot of multiple other uses. I did end up getting rid of it, not because I didn't really like the product, I just really wasn't using it. Kind of fell out of power lifting at the time, like this is years ago. And I'm just one of those people, if I'm not using it, I just unload it on eBay, especially if it's something like this that does retain its value. People do really like this. So if you do maybe consider picking this up and you don't like it for whatever reason, if you don't mind reselling or something like that, you easily could unload this thing. So getting into the way you can kind of take advantage of this product and its multiple uses, um, it has a variety of uses, but I'd say traditionally it came out of powerlifting. And so it originally was kind of this kind of sold as this great way to overload uh, and or kind of handle heavier weight more than what you're maybe usually accustomed to, uh, especially getting the aid out of that bottom position. Uh, Mark Bell, the creator of this product, kind of often said it's kind of like thinking of it as like an extra layer of musculature kind of over your body. So it really helps you support your chest, again, your triceps and even your shoulders or any muscle that's essentially helping you kind of get out of that push position. Now, at first glance, some people look at this and they say, well, you're just kind of cheating. You're kind of just bolstering your ego by like artificially lifting more than you normally could. Uh, I really, that's definitely not the case. Uh, using this thing can essentially help you work on some weak points uh, in your bench press or just chest pressing. Helps kind of uh, allow your CNS to get accustomed to like heavier loads that's getting placed upon the musculature that you otherwise couldn't do. Let's say, especially if you got like weaker joints or you can't do it too often, otherwise it will overstress the joints. Uh, can help you kind of dial in ideal bench form to again, kind of help prevent injury, just to kind of name a few points here. And if you're into bodybuilding and you wanna really stress those chest muscles without adding any increased incidence of injury or stress on the joints like elbows and shoulders, this is also a great option to kind of add in some more higher volume work um, with heavier weights or just to add in some heavier weights and to avoid kind of potential injury. And certainly if you're someone who's got like any kind of joint pain or you're kind of iffy about your joints, maybe you're just getting a little older and you're kind of leery about either pressing heavy or even moderately heavy uh, in the shoulders, elbows, even like maybe in the chest area, there's some musculature there you're kind of iffy about. Uh, plenty of testimonials and people that use this product just for either rehabilitation or just don't want to push their joints too far. Uh, I think Mark Bell has even commented on some of his videos where people have like reconstructive surgery that literally after a couple of weeks throw this product on and they can actually go back to chest pressing. So the point I want to make is don't feel like you have to go like use this product only if you're lifting really heavy or even moderately heavy. Uh, you can certainly take advantage of this product in a number of different ways and I'll get into how I was using it, but the point I wanna make is I think this product actually shines in some of those moderate loads. And so what I like about this product is this is gonna be something that can really get people moving again, get people doing something otherwise we're kind of leery on. I know plenty of people, and you guys write to me, that just kind of avoid certain exercises like the plague. 
Uh, certainly, I would say it's maybe better to, and this is just my personal opinion, if it were me, it's better to do a little bit of something and work through an active range of motion that I can actually functionally work through pain-free than to just avoid a movement altogether. So how I approached the slingshot this time around was a little bit different compared to the first time. You know, the first time I just wanted to get it to help support my bench and just kind of more or less my heavy lifting. Uh, this time, a little bit different in my motivation of why I purchased it. You know, working out from home, I'm always looking for space-saving equipment that I emphasize a lot in this channel that can enhance not only what I already have, uh, but certainly my current training, and also encourage me to want to actually use the product. I'm always looking for things that just invite me to use it. It seemed like a little more interesting that I can kind of mix things up in my gym. And so yes, I do like the idea of lifting heavier weights and putting some stress on my chest. That's gonna take stress off my joints at the same time. This time, however, I really wanted to maximize kind of that groove, uh, kind of dialing in that stress on my chest, kind of change up the range of motion a little bit, but almost to kind of make these chest pressing movements kind of feel more like a machine-like motion. One of the few things I do miss about the gym are those good specialized machines that can fit me really well. They kind of get that good mind-muscle connection. So I thought pick up the slingshot would be a viable option to kind of recreate that in the home gym for those chest exercises because it really does feel like a machine when you get that movement dialed in. I mean, you'll notice here, I'm playing with my range of motion here a bit, not going really full range of motion. And I'm just trying to more or less kind of stay in the pocket, so to speak, where I'm really kind of dialing in and feeling that stress on my chest. Uh, and instead in the past, I'm just trying to like throw this thing on only at heavyweights, just trying to jump to those heavyweights right away to maximize the product. I actually started to really found that this, I got the best benefit for me personally at the lighter loads or modified loads I'm also at like kind of a relatively kind of um, modified range of motion as well. Now you guys can see in the video, I was wearing it pretty much like this, where either my elbows are just peeking out at the end or they're kind of slightly covered. Uh, definitely if someone has like an elbow strain, that would, be, that would be very advantageous, that would feel really good for you. But some people wear it even pretty high or the glove just covers up the biceps. Um, there's, lot, there's videos online where he talks about the pros and cons of each. I would just say kind of fine tune this to how it suits you. Also kind of depends on what type of slingshot you're gonna get. This is like the basic original one. I kind of like this because it's a little more multi-purpose, but I would say it also kind of depends on how you're gonna be using this. Cause you'll see me using, you can see now I'm doing the bench press, but I'm gonna be using dumbbells, also has some value in push-ups as well. So it kind of depends how you wanna fit this to suit your needs. Now, once I started using it for dumbbells, which honestly, I haven't seen many people do. I'm sure a lot of people do use it. I just don't see people, many people talking about it. Um, I know in the past, I don't think I really ever tried it before. I might have, I just don't remember. But honestly, I think I preferred this over my bench press. I just liked the kind of the range of motion it put me in. I liked having my hands slightly angled a little bit on the uh, dumbbells versus the bench press. And I also like this, at least for me personally, I think it's a good thing because it's easier for me to kind of break out uh, and set up and use my power blocks than it is for me to kind of load weights on the bench. It's not a big deal, but it also helps me just kind of take advantage of the equipment that I have, which I've talked about as another kind of plus whenever I pick up any piece of equipment. Um, I like something like a slingshot that makes me kind of maximize something that otherwise is kind of collecting dust. I don't say this, if you guys are new to the channel and just watch this review, I really primarily do like 90 plus percent of all my resistance training on my uh, total gym. Don't really touch these free weights too much. So that's another added benefit of this slingshot. It's gonna help encourage me to maybe use these uh, on certain chest days. Now you guys know and expected I had to have tried this in a total gym, but because of the angle you're really sitting at, it doesn't allow for like a really good range of motion. It almost feels like it's kind of short and choppy. So point is at least now as I've kind of messed with it a little bit, I don't think this is really good for doing traditional chest presses on a total gym. Yes, it works. It would probably more work better if you're going to add some external weight on, which I did here, but don't think it's totally necessary. I didn't get a huge benefit out of this. If you're looking for something that kind of maybe uh, help you help elbow tension or shoulder tension, I would say even just a basic elbow sleeve would be more advantageous than utilizing this for your total gym. And then when I started using it for push-ups, this kind of really surprised me. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did. Uh, I definitely wouldn't want to throw this on to like increase the number of push-ups, but more so I'm focusing on, again, that kind of tension in the chest. I'm kind of doing partial repetitions to kind of dial in uh, that stress on my chest. And so again, if you're somebody who likes to do push-ups even, and this kind of causes some stress in your elbows or shoulders, very advantageous to pick this up. Um, you'll notice I kind of tried different angles. I started increasing, putting my legs on a higher um, stand here on the total gym. And I think if I didn't, I should have went upstairs and grabbed it, but I have some perfect push-ups. And I was thinking as I was doing this workout that this would feel really good if I can get more into a deeper position. So in the future, I'm definitely going to probably pick up those perfect push-ups, uh, maybe even a pair of parallettes. Uh, and thinking about it now, I probably could have used my power blocks to kind of get into that low position as well. But the point is, push-ups felt really good in this thing. Now, getting to the things I didn't like about this product, and this is kind of specific to me, so you can kind of take this as it will. Uh, but you guys can see in this video, it's a very small footprint here I got in this gym. Everything's kind of crammed together. 
I do a lot of supersets, which is why I love these sliding bench trainers and these total gyms, because I'm always jumping around doing different things. This just kind of slowed me down a little bit because I feel like if I'm really gonna maximize its use, I would have to have maybe like a, my bench set up and my power blocks over here, for like maybe like a chest station, um, usually kind of jumping back and forth this stuff. So I feel like whenever I'm gonna use this, I'm probably gonna have to like dedicate, you know, some time and like just do some like chest exercises uh, instead of supersetting. You certainly could, it's not a big deal, but just to kind of get myself kind of set up, taking it on, taking it off, not a big deal. Point is just kind of slow me down to my traditional workouts. Then the second thing I did not like that I think a lot of you guys maybe can relate to if you guys do check out this product is just the price. It's expensive and I honestly had a hard time, you know, buying this again for the second time, which again, I did buy this almost all the products I do review, I do purchase myself. And um, yeah, it was just hard because I'm like, I know this is kind of more of a luxury item. If, I'm, if I was someone who had like a nagging shoulder injury, elbow injury, something like that, I uh, need some relief in the area for sure. This would be worth it, hands down, no question, if you especially want to work, again, chest presses. But um, I knew it was something that ne didn't necessarily need. I just thought at the end of the day, you know what, if this adds some value, if it makes me utilize the equipment I already have, it, if it just makes makes my workout in my home gym all, all the more kind of more interesting uh, and fun, uh, and just like a little more versatile, like I said, then I think it's worth the price. So I think this thing definitely is worth the money. Uh, as far as, yes, it's just, you're paying like 70 something dollars for expensive fabric. But if you look at all the positive reviews, this thing does last for a good period of time. I think it does have a lot of multi-purposes outside of just traditional bench pressing. And that's what I wanted to still in this video that, yes, if you, if you don't have a bench set up like this, um, those things are great. But otherwise, you know, if you got dumbbells, it works out good. Even push-ups, I think it has some value as well and some potential. So those are my overall thoughts, guys. Any questions, comments, feedback, let me know. And I will see you guys on the next video.